festivities are over and we're just about set to get this game underway. He'll return it from the six. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. What do you think we're going to see offensively from them today? Brad, this offense runs the multiple offense, which I personally think is the best offense right now in college football. The reason they call it a multiple offense is because you can obviously attack in different ways. You can be multiple. You can be in an eye formation one play. You can be in a shotgun the next. You're going to run the football. You're going to establish the run game, try to get the defense to respect that, and that can open up the play action in the drop back passing game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. Pena was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 46-yard line, second down. the ground with the tailback and he's tackled after positive yardage we've got third and three here ball on the 47 yard line and they get the sack to me that's on the quarterback he's got to be able to recognize and use his eyes and vision to be able to see that the corner is coming on a blitz the offense didn't do a good job of picking up the blitz, but the quarterback's got to be able to see that and make the throw quickly to get the ball before the corner can sack him. Wrong. Awaiting the return. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And out comes the offense. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Good open field tackle. About nine yards there on the quarterback scramble. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And down he goes at the 31. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 31. Taken down at about the 31. That makes it second and 10. From their own 31 yard line, it's second down. Passes to the back, incomplete. I like the idea here, trying to dump the ball over the running back to maybe catch the defense off guard, but he just misfired it. I don't think his footwork was very good there. It's third and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. And this stadium is alive. Schaefer drops back. Fires incomplete. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open. He just misfired. Schmidt awaits the snap. He's tackled at midfield. Return for a gain of 12 yards. They'll start this drive at midfield. They'll work the left. He's tackled right around the 40.
from the 40-yard line. First down. Taken down at the 36. Back on the tackle, 36 yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 36. Keaton drops to throw. Steps out of bounds around the 31 yard line. Now Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Handoff up the middle. Tackle at the 20. From the 20 yard line, it's first down. He gets out to about the 18 yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Second and nine. Ball on the 18. They'll run the option. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. That'll make it third and five. Third down again. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Huge play and it's going to be first and goal. He made a really good that move at the line of scrimmage. Goal. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Room around the corner. Runs right for a nice game. From the one yard line, second down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Now down, takes it right side. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get up field north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get up field as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. This will make it a field goal game. The kick is up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. They'll bring him down at the 19. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tolbert on a pitch out. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Nice tackle there from the freshman coming down from his position at safety and making a solid tackle on the ball carrier. It's second and eight. Ball on the 21. He'll get the call again. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Third down. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. This place is getting loud. Give to the tailback. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. They didn't try to just force something there. Just good, hard running for the first down. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Ah. 
gets to about the 37-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. Three, nothing. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on their own 37. Schaefer running the option. Decent run here, right side. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and two. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And this crowd trying to will their defense to make a stop here on third and short. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Third down has been the charm on this drive. No, it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. From their own 46-yard line, first down. down around the 45 yard line what impresses me so much is the guy's vision he read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage and this is the eighth play of the drive made at about the 45. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. And they make the stop at the 46. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Gives it to the back. He makes his way out to about the 35. That makes it first and 10. They've got a solid drive going here, but I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board. First and 10, ball on the 35. Run, left side. From the 34-yard line, second down. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Back to pass. Steps out at the 30. Defense looked like it jumped early. Offside. Off defense. It's easy to teach guys to watch the ball and not listen to the quarterback's cadence, but some quarterbacks are just so good at barking out the signals that they're still able to draw some of these guys offsides. Gives it off. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. It 
next play here. Nice run there. Four, maybe five yards there on the halfback toss. That brings up second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 14. And he's tackled at about the 13. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That'll bring up third. They're about four yards away here on third down. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Louisiana Tech is looking to tie things up. And he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. Gets out to about the 21. Returns the kick. Pickup return 21 yards. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Now he's scrambling. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. The offense calls a timeout. Two minutes left in the half. They go with the run. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. If it's any consolation, he did pick up some positive yards, but I doubt that's enough to make him forget the hit that he just took. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Somebody jumped early down there. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. It's third and eight. Ball on their own 23. Drops back to pass. Wants to go long and does. Almost intercepted. Well, that's a great job here by the defense to knock that football away and set up a fourth down. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And down he goes at the 44. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. They'll go to work at the 44-yard line. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 42-yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. He scrambles and picks up five. He's on the run. Tackle at the 33-yard line. The Bulldogs use their second timeout. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. The crowd at a fever pitch right now.
and they get him in the backfield for a loss. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. guy down after that play. From their own 33-yard line, first down. And he's going to be sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So the sack makes this a second and long. So we've played two quarters. And this one's not an up at three. Just about set to start the second half. If you're an offensive guru, you hated the first two quarters. We'll see if the offenses can come to life here in the third quarter. Let's take a minute to get an update from Aaron Andrews. Well, both coaches promised to show a little more of their playbook here in the second half, Brad. They noted that they missed some plays and they could do a better job overall, but told their guys to just stay focused and all the pieces will come together. Both coaches were pleased with the execution in the first half as neither team turned the ball over. Back up to you, Brad. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. They go with the back, and he's got room. And he tackles him hard at the 40. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. He makes it to the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling around. He's at midfield. They'll bring him down right around the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. And he's level at the 48. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. And he's hit immediately. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. First down. From the 34-yard line, first down. And that one's incomplete. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it Here's the eighth play of the series. And 
he hits him hard at the 26 yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. Third down. So we're looking at another third down here. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of four on the play. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 22. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of three yards on the play. I'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It's second and 13. Ball on the 25-yard line. Can't find anyone open. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He has one job on passing situations. Get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Back to pass. Going for it all to the end zone. So they call a tight ends number, and he comes through with the score. He did a great job here of using his size to create space for himself so the quarterback could get the ball into him without any defenders getting in the way. Louisiana Tech with a six-point lead. He makes the PAT. So a 12-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Schmidt has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From the five-yard line, gets to about the 24-yard line. Kickoff returns 19 yards. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Cut. Brought down at the 29-yard line. About a five-yard pickup on the old play-action pass. The defense wasn't fooled too much by the play-action, but it gave the quarterback just enough of a cushion to find his receiver. From their own 29-yard line, Second down. They'll work the left side. They go to the left for a nice game. You're always looking for ways to get your playmakers involved, whether it's handing it off or just throwing it to them. First and 10, ball on the 35-yard line. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, first down. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. About five yards that time on the throw. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. And 
he's tackled around the 33-yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 33. At the 25. Very solid gain through the air. That I'm impressed with the poise two. of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. And this play is number eight on the drive. There are flags all over the place. Here's the call from the head referee. They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. From the 20-yard line, it's first down. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Dives for extra yardage. Picks up about nine on the scramble. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. Well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. From the 11-yard line, it's second down. Slings it left. Now you hate to foreshadow and assume that that drop could come back to bite them, but if this offense is able to put the ball into the end zone after that drop pass, this game could be over. Third and goal, ball on the 11. They'll spread the field with five wide. What? Throws it out there, incomplete. He caught it, but failed to get that one necessary foot in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big time play. This isn't much more than an extra point. He gets it up. And it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 10. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Brad, at this point, this defense has to do everything in their power to try to strip that ball away to get the ball back to their own offense to see if they can get a chance to win this game. And 
he is drilled at the 32. Gain of 13 yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 32. Louisiana Tech is up four. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. That makes it second and 10. From their own 32-yard line, second down. His hands. Steele was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 32. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He drops back. He's going to go for the home run. Caught to the 10. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take them down. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. The penalty digs them a big hole with third and long. Really a factor with a crowd noise here. Schaefer drops back to pass. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. You're always looking for the home run return, the big highlight. Didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. They'll take over at the 48-yard line. Looks for his running back, incomplete. Number 28 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. From their own 48-yard line, second down. They go to the ground game. He's at the 40. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Tackle at the 37-yard line. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. And he's taken down at about the 35. Ball at a gain of two yards. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Now he's scrambling. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down around the 14-yard line. They'll get the first down. He made the correct decision to tuck it and go. From the 14-yard line, first down. Drops to pass here on first down. He's tackled at the five. So the quarterback completes the slam pattern for about a nine-yard gain. You leave your defenders vulnerable when it's man coverage. 
and that time he paid for being a step behind the receiver. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Brought down at the four. Gain of one yard. Third down. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Defense comes out in a 4-4. They need a big play here. He did not get to the first down marker. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Fourth down. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Just over two minutes in the game. Back to pass. He's on the run. Got him. They tried to throw for it, but ended up getting sacked. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Tolbert off the right side. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. And they got him for a loss. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup and come out a bit more motivated next time. the stop at the 17-yard line from their own 17-yard line third down this is where you get false starts quick throw and it's the senior down the sideline at the point for the 20 the 10 touchdown Bulldogs and Herbie that aerial touchdown might be all they need Just under two to go in the game. And he converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He got all of that one. He's to the 10. He's tackled at the 24. Well, I'm sure the return man would have loved to go for six that time. Not a whole lot of time left in this game, Brad. They've got to score down two possessions, and they need to score as fast as they can and then recover an onside kick and hope to be able to have a shot to tie this game. He wants it all. Makes the catch and look out. Down the sideline. Touchdown. Touchdown. Huge play. Big touchdown, and now we're down to a one-score game. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Back to pass. Get the two. Conversion is no good. They bring him down and they bring him down hard on that one. 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Here's an opening. He makes his way to about the 38. Gain of eight on the play. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. A little over a minute in the game. Schaefer on the option. They'll knock him down for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Third and five, ball on the 41 yard line. The intensity of this place is increasing. Another run. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The defense had a great opportunity there and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. Final score lower than we expected. 17 12. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? Well, we got about what we thought we'd get. Two evenly matched teams fighting hard in a very close game. Louisiana Tech made the plays they had to to win this game. And that's what it often comes down to with two evenly matched teams. Whoever comes through in a clutch gets the W. And for winning today's player of the game, EA Sports will make a $10,000 donation in his name to the school's general scholarship fund. For EA Sports and my partners Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.